If you have been tuning into Computex 2024, you may have heard the word AI, AI being thrown around by literally everyone under the sun. Now, NVIDIA is doing it a little bit different. They're giving out AI in the form of G Assist. And there's also quite a few other technologies that we'll talk about today, but G Assist by far stood out as being a really good tool for gamers. And the first example of this being awesome is that you can undervolt your GPU and also tune the GPU to that particular game on the fly by simple voice commands. In this example that we were seeing, we were simply asking it the FPS and to show different charts while we were gaming. And it was simply showing this data in real time with graphs that could be analyzed to show you the differences that was being made. However, when we asked it to undervolt the RTX 4090, this is where things got really interesting. It tuned the GPU down from 280 watts all the way down to under 180 watts real time whilst giving a massive improvement to power efficiency. So that was only one example of where G Assist will really help out gamers. The other is also things like quickly displaying your FPS as well as telling the actual game itself to issue the optimization settings to whatever you wish to do. Say for instance, you want to run the FPS around your monitor's frame rate, you can tell G-Assist to do that. It will then lock that in. Also, for instance, if you're in the middle of competitive FPS games and you want to optimize for the lowest latency possible, just simply enter a voice command, something like, I want the lowest latency possible. And then it'll either tell you how to do that or lock it in if the game compatibility supports it. Though up until this point, that was only one half of G-Assist. The other big powerful benefit comes in the form of saving you time, especially while you're either trying to learn the game or you're trying to do things like quests. In this specific example, we had here Ark Survival Ascended. And for instance, I had no idea how to play this game and locking in commands like, okay, how do I tame a Triceratops? It was then giving out a heap of different commands without me having to alt tab and go through Google or something like that. The G Assist would just simply give me a step-by-step -step guide in real time. And this I believe will not just save a lot of time, but also save a lot of frustration. However, what else did Nvidia have on display here at Computex 2024? Let's find out right after today's video sponsor. Computex 2024 is brought to you by Aorus and their new lineup of OLED gaming monitors featuring the Faux 32 U2P, which is the first 32-inch OLED monitor to support DisplayPort 2.1, as well as having a refresh rate of 240Hz at 4K. Then there's the Faux 27Q3, a 27-inch 1440p with a whopping refresh rate of 360Hz. All these monitors have incredibly fast response times and variable refresh rate, HDMI 2.1, as well as a built-in keyboard, video, and mouse switch. And the best thing is is there's built-in Aorus OLED care to minimize the risk of burn-in. Links in the description below to find out more. So by this stage, you may have heard of NVIDIA ACE, and this is the AI generation of characters being able to interact in a unique way. Now, this is the first time I actually got to demo this in real time, and I was really impressed by what I saw. For instance, they allowed me to use this and just throw out real oddball questions, which is what first came to mind when I tried it out, and I just straight away got into the deep end. I was like talking about cheesecake, and it recognized it straight away and said it didn't have cheesecake, but it offered me some chocolate cake. And then after that, of course, I went on to pizza, and then I started to move through the actual mission, and I had to identify a room of one of the characters so you could progress in the game. Though at this stage, there was also another AI model on display, and it was actually featured in the keynote very briefly, where you could interact with a character that could translate English to Mandarin on the fly. But then moving on to the next room, we had a special model on display where I actually got myself turned into a superhero in green, of course, green being the color for NVIDIA. And this was via the integration with NVIDIA and Comfy UI to bring you a model where you can just take a picture and then use your RTX graphics card and giving out images that would be a lot of fun, but also taking a lot of time to create if you were drawing. And I'm absolutely hopeless at drawing. Though after that, there was a model of RTX chat, which you all may be aware of. It's pretty much an implementation similar to that of ChatGPT, but it's also got the option now to be localized. So if you don't want to get answers from the cloud and you've got five files that you want to search through, then you can get it locally via the accessing the folders command. Though moving through the next suite was NVIDIA collaborating with small form factor designers of cases in particular, as well as their AIB partners to make a compatibility list. So if you want to build in a micro ATX case or an ITX case, and you want to know if that GPU is going to fit in that particular case, NVIDIA is finally working out a simple list with all the dimensions and everything on whether not just the GPU will fit, but also the clearances for connectors and whether you'll need a right angle adapter 
or things like that. Though moving on to the final suite was actually one that probably interested me one of the most because it was the Creator Studio where Nvidia were talking about how they've got new technologies coming out with their studio drivers versus their game ready drivers. And as you guys may or may not know, if you've got an RTX card, then Nvidia actually offer two different sets of drivers. One of those being the game ready driver, which I'm sure most people download, but then there's also the studio driver, which is usually a little bit delayed versus the game ready drivers, but it's the drivers that have the latest fixes for applications like DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, etc. And with the new drivers to be released, there is essentially now AI HDR upscaling, which this essentially can take an 8-bit footage and then convert it into 10-bit HDR. And seeing this in real time was actually really impressive. It was just a shame that it was only being implemented at this stage with DaVinci, as opposed to me personally. I unfortunately still use Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm just a sucker for that workflow. But seeing this work out in real time was really impressive with the before and after. And then to the left of that, they're implementing AI into Topaz, which is an editor for photos. And here especially they had on the display a wedding photographer removing noise and also removing objects to make the photo much more desirable, especially in low light conditions. This can definitely be a game changer. Though the final demo on display was also for real time rendering with a model like D5, which uses the Unreal Engine 5 to make essentially a choppy animation a lot smoother. So for those who are architects and want to show off their real time models, it will be a lot smoother and a lot more professional to show it off with these technologies enabled. Anyhow guys, I'm out here now filming in a park and although it was better earlier in the day filming at parks, this one's actually starting to attract quite a few mosquitoes. So I want to actually jet out of here. And with that aside, I hope you enjoyed today's coverage of NVIDIA and what they have here at Computex 2024. Also, let us know in the comment section below what you enjoyed the most in today's video. And also if there's other requests you have for checking things out at Computex 2024. I'll be sure to make that happen. For me personally, it was definitely the G Assist. I think that is going to save gamers a lot of time as well as make the gaming experience just so much better. Anyhow, guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech Yes coverage and you're not yet subbed and you want to get the videos as soon as they drop, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.